Polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, uses repeated cycles of heating and cooling to make many copies of a specific region of DNA. First, the temperature is raised to near boiling, causing the double-stranded DNA to separate or denature into single strands. When the temperature is decreased, short DNA sequences known as primers bind or anneal to complementary matches on the target DNA sequence. The primers bracket the target sequence to be copied. At a slightly higher temperature, the enzyme TAC polymerase, shown here in blue, binds to the primed sequences and adds nucleotides to extend the second strand. This completes the first cycle. In subsequent cycles, the process of denaturing, annealing, and extending are repeated to make additional DNA copies. After three cycles, the target sequence defined by the primers begins to accumulate. After 30 cycles, as many as a billion copies of the target sequence are produced from a single starting molecule. Polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, is a technique used to amplify DNA sequences and introduce modifications. Every PCR reaction has two oligos, which bracket the region to be copied. The oligos are designed such they anneal to the three prime end of the region to be copied. The polymerase will add base pairs to the three prime end of the oligo and fill in new nucleotides in the region we want to amplify. During the denaturing phase, the DNA separates into its individual strands. When the temperature is lower during the annealing phase, the primers anneal to the homologous sequence in the template strands. The temperature is then raised and the polymerase extends the three prime ends by adding complementary base pairs. In the second cycle, the same process occurs of denaturation, annealing, and extension of the DNA with polymerase. When the third cycle completes, we can see the target sequence for the first time. In subsequent cycles, this sequence will make up most of the DNA in solution as it amplifies exponentially. To introduce specific point mutations into a DNA, primers with a mismatch may be used. If the mismatch is greater than six base pairs away from the three prime end of the primer, then it might anneal and a PCR reaction can occur which propagates the mutation into the amplified product. Here we will use the same example PCR as before, but with one mismatch shown in red. The oligos bind to the target just as before even with the mismatch and polymerase extends the three prime ends. In the second cycle, the oligos bind and polymerase extends the three prime ends. Notice how in this sequence, polymerase copied the mismatch from the oligo. In this way, sequences with a mismatch will eventually dominate. You can also use PCR to add sequence to the five prime end of a DNA fragment. Using the same template as before, we will now add restriction sites to the five prime ends of the oligos. If the oligos have enough homology to bind already, then adding additional base pairs to the five prime end of the oligos will not stop them from annealing in PCR. After annealing, polymerase extends the three prime ends. In the second cycle, polymerase extends the three prime ends. For some of the five prime extensions, the complementary base pairs are added and the extension has been copied. Using these techniques, we can modify a DNA sequence enabling a wide array of DNA fabrication methods.